the idea of making Tycho, I think, comes out of the fact that, well, for one, we can't afford Tycho, but also that, well, <clears throat> like I saw in, in junior high school and high school going to manual arts and poche, that people were making their own conga drums, you know, so what's, what's different, you know, that we could, we could make it. I think I kind of make jokes about it, but it has to do with this kind of Yankee ingenuity kind of thing that, that we're, we're, we have that too. That as, as Americans, you know, we have this thing that if there's a will, there's a way. If, if we want to do it, we could come up with a way to do it. I, you know, I don't think the wine barrel tackle would ever been invented in Japan, for example, because I think people are, in Japan are stuck with, well, a taiko is this. You know, they have the definition that it's set. Well, we're more, we have a definition, yeah, but, you know, we're also a lot looser about it. So we, we, we give ourselves permission to do things that, like, you know, I think the early masters and players of shakuhachi made their own shakuhachi, but today uh, most people will go to a maker to, to get it. Although I think there's a slight movement, there's craft movement in Japan beginning, that people can go to stores now and get a blank and learn how to make their own shakuhachi. But it's not, uh, I don't think it's that popular. But even that, I think, is coming. It's, it's almost it's this thing of, of it becomes popular in America, so it becomes popular in Japan, you know, like the woodblock print thing. That it's not recognized until it becomes popular outside of Japan. Then it, oh, Japanese suddenly say, oh, this is, this is far out. <laughs> yeah.